Hey, what's going on friends and theme park fans? This is Silver Sticks here for another Sticks Top 6 where I count down the best and worst that theme parks have to offer. Alrighty folks, here on Styx Top 6, we've talked a lot about the Universal Orlando Resort, specifically Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure, but one area I haven't touched upon at all, and where we'll be traveling to today, is of course their very own legendary water park, Volcano Bay. I have gotten a ton of comments from people asking me to talk about this for a while now, so this video definitely goes out to all of you who have been waiting patiently for this episode to come out for so long. I hope I do it justice for you. As always, this list is just made up of my own opinions, and I mean absolutely no harm if your favorite attractions don't appear in this video. This is all just for fun and for us to hang out and talk about an awesome water park. So with all that beginning rambling out of the way, let's jump into the wave pool and splash right into what I think are the top 6 best attractions at Universal Orlando's Volcano Bay. Kicking things off today, we'll be heading over to the River Village where we'll find two inner winding slides called Honu Ika Moana. Ika Moana is a green, mostly indoor slide with tons of twists and turns that almost anyone of any age can enjoy. It's known as the Whale Side. However, while Ika Moana is great by all means, for our number 6 spot today, I just have to pick Honu based on the friendly sea turtle of the same name from Watari mythology. In simpler terms, this is the blue slide, known as the turtle side, and it's definitely more intense in every sense of the word. While there are your typical drops, turns, and splashdowns on this slide, you also have two giant walls that your raft reaches nearly the top of, and in the best way possible, it really feels like you're gonna fly right off the side. On the contrary though, this is an incredibly smooth ride through. Like the actual material the slide is built out of almost feels slicked down, so you really fly all around super fast on this one, and it is a total riot. Honestly, even if you're like me and usually afraid of heights, this is still a really fun ride, and it makes you feel pretty confident after you're able to conquer it too. I personally think everyone should go ahead and give both Honu and Eco Moana one ride through each. I'm sure you'll like at least one of them, regardless of what type of person you are. But personally, Honu is my preference all the way, any day. Let me know down in the comments though which of them you enjoy most. I'd really love to know. Okay, this next one is for all the thrill seekers out there in the audience, as we head straight to the top of the Krakatawa Volcano, hundreds of feet above the park where we'll be able to take on America's tallest body plunge slide, the Kokiri Body Plunge, which sits at a 70 degree angle dropping you from a trap door 125 feet nearly straight down into a spiraling tube of nothing but water, screams, and a ton of fun. The only real downside to this attraction is how fast it ends, but frankly, that is all because of how fast you go through it. You basically feel like a speeding bullet on this slide, and it is amazing. Except, the wait times can get pretty ridiculous, honestly. I'd say expect an hour and a half or more any time you go. But on the other hand, it is such an enjoyable experience, and climbing up the volcano is pretty awesome too, so I still find myself dealing with it more often than not. And if you're brave enough to take this one on, then I would recommend dealing with the downsides too, any day. Because you'll soon realize the good outweighs the bad heavily with this attraction, and I guarantee you'll find yourself coming back to this one for more, time and time again soon enough. Alrighty, let's cool things down for a minute while we strap on our life vest and head over to the Rainforest Village section of the park to take a trip around Tiawa the Fearless River, a high-speed whitewater torrent river that features choppy waves and churning rapids, or simply put, what I like to call the Crazy Lazy River, because that just sums it up perfectly. While there are a few little surprises along your path, 
it's mainly just a visually stunning, slightly more intense version of your average lazy river. Faster tides, roaring rapids, and of course, the usual floats you can grab a hold of to make your ride just that much more fun. And because this is essentially a lazy river, you can pop into this one anytime you like. For instance, maybe while you're waiting for your Tapu Tapu ride time. And somehow, Tiawa is still one of the best attractions available. I find myself going around and around this path for hours cumulatively on my visits to the park, and if you get the chance to float along the Fearless River as well one day, I promise you'll be doing the exact same thing. Climbing our way back to the top of the Krakatawa Volcano, right near the Kokiri Body Slide no less, we'll come across two crisscross serpentine slides, Kala and Tainui. Kala is blue while Tainui is the green slide, and that's often referred to as the most intense ride in the entire park, so definitely plan out which one of them you'll be riding accordingly before you make it all the way to the top, because both slides do take passengers down the volcano at the exact same time, so this can actually end up being a super fun racing minigame mixed with a hyper-intense thrill-tastic body slide, especially if you're with friends and family. It's just super fun to see who can make it down the volcano first. In the end, these slides are both equally a ton of fun, so you can't really go wrong with whichever one you pick, and luckily, because they're right near the Kokiri body plunge, the lines are usually just a teeny tiny bit shorter for Kala and Tainui, so they're certainly worth the wait at least once or twice, and I couldn't recommend them more, honestly. I try to do them both at least once each and every time I visit the park, so who knows, maybe the next time you're on this one you'll end up racing against the Great Silver Sticks. The real question is, will you make it to the bottom before I do? Are you up to the challenge? Winding all around the Krakatawa Volcano, we'll actually come across the flagship attraction of Volcano Bay, the oh-so-spectacular Krakatawa Aqua Coaster. This ride is just flat-out awesome, simple as that. Unlike most water parks, on this attraction you don't just board a float or a small raft for your journey. No, 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 you actually hop aboard a four-person canoe that bobs and weaves up and down and all around through dark tunnels and over drops surrounded by tikis and other incredible scenery all throughout the beautiful and powerful Krakatawa Volcano. And it is mind-blowing, seriously. There are so many points when you feel like you may not have enough momentum to make it up one of the pretty massive hills, and then the next second you're falling down a drop at full speed with water spraying in your face. I really just can't describe the rush of emotions and adrenaline you'll feel on this coaster. It is just perfect. The slide itself also just looks plain awesome, and there's plenty of moments outdoors to see just how high up you are before taking you back in the dark. And regardless of where you are, you're bound to be smiling and screaming at the top of your lungs on this attraction the entire time, just wishing it would never have to end. Right then, heading over to the River Village, we'll be able to take a soak and relax while we float down the Kopiko Y Winding River also simply known as Volcano Bay's Lazy River. And anyone could really guess why this takes the honorable mention spot today? It's just a lazy river. Unlike Tiawa the Fearless River, this isn't as much of an attraction as much as it is just a nice change of pace from the general mayhem of theme parks and the people inside of them. There's honestly nothing I love more than just grabbing an inner tube, resting my head on the side, and letting the waves take me wherever they need to take me while I just sit there and relax for a couple hours. It is genuinely the best way to use time waiting for your Tapu Tapu, or just if you're tired you can take a load off. One way or another, lazy rivers are perfect and they deserve respect, alright? However, they are definitely nothing special, really, and Kopiko, unfortunately other than having some gorgeous visuals and plant life along the path, is also truly nothing special either. But it still deserves a place on the list because I just love it, so that's why it easily belongs as our very special honorable mention today. Congratulations, cheers all around.
Get ready, get set, and go with our number one best attraction here at Universal Orlando's Volcano Bay, the Punga Racers. And I'll just say right up front, this is definitely a biased choice. Punga Racers are by far not the fastest, tallest, or all-around craziest of all the slides throughout the park, but I just adore them. Yes, I said them. Punga Racers are four separate slides that guests can race down headfirst on what are known as Manta Mats towards the finish line while the winner gets sprayed by Punga himself as a watery salute. Each of these different slides wind about one another, some have open sections, some are completely enclosed, but all of them are absolutely awesome. I personally always try to go down headfirst on water slides if I get the choice just so I can get the most intense experience possible, because I kind of am a thrill seeker when it comes to water parks, and while the Punga Racers are by no means the most intense rides in the park, going down face first does add a major thrill element that I just can't get enough of. And similarly with the Kala and Tai Nui Serpentine slides, the Punga Racers can also be considered as a small raceway minigame for you and your friends, or if you're alone it can be a fun challenge to try each of the different slides one by one. Regardless of which way you decide to take this ride on, I promise it'll end up being one of your absolute favorites throughout the park, just like it is mine. Alrighty folks, that's gonna about wrap up my Styx Top 6 Best Attractions at Universal Orlando's Volcano Bay. I really hope you all enjoyed the video, if you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video around, it'd mean a lot and help out a ton. Also please leave in the comments what your favorite and least favorite attractions throughout Volcano Bay are, I'd sure love to know. But anyway folks, with all that out of the way, this is Silver Styx signing out. I hope you have a great rest of your day, theme park fans. Peace.